All right, I'm going to try to do this quick because I think my phone can only record for about 10 minutes and then it runs out of space or yeah, memory or whatever. Anyway, I got to find a way to get all my photos off my phone and into something else. But anyway, issues. Um, so anyway, this is my book, yada yada. It's like... The, um, so I, you know, published this, uh, earlier this year, like in April, um, <clears throat> and so it's like about the underworld, it's about these ancient maps, ancient Egyptian maps of, uh, America, which was the underworld for ancient Egypt, or, and, you know. It's the underworld of Afro-Eurasia, just as Afro-Eurasia is the underworld of America. And um, it's called, like in Greek, the Antiphon or something. So, but there's a mistake that I think I made in dealing with uh, the Book of Two Ways map. Because the Book of Two Ways, um, you know, this map on the cover this is the oldest one that I know of. This is from like around 5,500 years ago. And, um, but this map is based on it, but it's from 4,000 years ago. And they confuse the, um, you know, they confuse the coasts, so it has it backwards for parts of it, the parts that are based on the 5,000-year-old one, because notice how the South America points to the opposite direction, Be you know, compared to this one, so because this one was originally flipped um, because it was, you know, an Antipodes map, like antipodal map showing kind of the Western Hemisphere inside out. But anyway, these this map is divided into sections, and each section tends to have a gatekeeper. You know, each section is, is a gate, basically translated generally as a gate. Um, but it's kind of like a gate hall and really it's like a realm. So, but the gatekeeper, who's the real gate in a sense is, you know, here it's like the Alaskan peninsula, um, is one, it's everything along the coastlines that obstructs sailing because you know, ancient sailing tended to be along coastlines because, you know, <coughs> it's the safest way to sail compared to going into the open sea. And um, so just crossing over from Siberia here, they could come down here and each, um, you know, there's one here that's like the... Uh, um, either Vancouver Island or the Olympic Peninsula. Um, and then there's the next one is Baja, California, which is a large peninsula. Um, and then the next one that I know of is in South America here. There's like, a, it's an island that uh, Isla Puna, which is right on the coast. Um, but anyway, for the, in my book, I had identified the East Coast Guardian of South America as being the Falklands, but I later realized, you know, recently I realized that the Falklands are too far from the coast to be a, a, um, a reasonable, you know, that it's probably that I don't think that is the actual gatekeeper because 
it's too far. So I think that because all the gatekeepers that I can really identify are either peninsulas or they're islands that virtually touch the coast of the mainland. So I'm thinking what this one really is, is um, Maraj. Maraha or Marahu, the island at the mouth of the um, Amazon, which is almost at the same latitude. It's a similar latitude as Isla Puna on the, uh, you know, which is where this text is written, signifying him on the, as the guardian on the west coast of South America. Um, but I was also realizing there might be another there might have originally been another zone because it's kind of weird for South America to have only one gate. And it seems like there's extra spells down here. So I'm thinking it's possible that um, this in the original one, you know, South America has a peninsula coming off the West Coast. And that, you know, there are a lot of, um, you know, sea mounts under the water in that area. So, you know, there's a good chance that since the sea level was much lower, um, you know, thousands of years ago, we can see Florida here is much wider. So, you know, it's very uh, plausible that there was that... Uh, peninsula there so that may have been the gar a guardian and you know probably would have been a guardian if this same system uh, prevailed which it seems uh, very plausible to be since this uh, map early map contains a lot of the same traditions found in the book of two ways um, so and then and just real, and I'm just realizing how, uh, you know, it it could be viewed as going all the way across, like, you know, the um, like. So here's like this line goes from the southern part of the. Uh, because the guardians are all assuming a northern passage on the east coast and a southern passage on the west coast, it starts from like the southern part of this guardian, which is uh, Baffin Island, to the northern part of uh, the Alaskan Peninsula, which is this west coast. So can divide like, um, yeah, like from here. Uh, well, this should be, I don't know if it's all lined up well on this one, but in, but in theory, like between this guardian, which is basically the South, like, uh, above, uh, North of Florida and the Chesapeake Bay in particular, and the peninsula that like Delaware's on like Palmyra or something, uh, Delmyra, I don't know. <clears throat> And um and then ba and then the northern part of Baja California, you know, is a similar latitude. The um Newfoundland and Vancouver Island area are basically the same or similar latitude. So I'm thinking that all these can be actually divided up, even though it's not really on this map very clearly divided in that way but that originally it was meant to be like that and in some versions it was <clears throat> so you know it seems that the one in uh in the Yucatan like southern Mexico was basically the current border the um the peninsula that becomes M. Burgess Key coming out of the <clears throat> southeast Yucatan. And, but I'm not sure what the western counterpart to that one would be. Possibly just the uh, isthmus in uh, southern Oaxaca. 
um, and the, there's a kind of bay and inlet there that could be a guardian. It kind of could be a obstruction to uh, coastal traffic. <clears throat> so, so yeah, it's just a more of a mystery of whether there was a second one. I think there was originally another division in South America where that peninsula was and that the subsidence of the peninsula um, led to confusion was another source of confusion and the redaction and the you know copying of the and the you know passing on of this tradition so yeah, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to probably try to do another uh, short book to deal with some of these questions um, regarding the different sections of America, like often divided into seven. And, you know, that's a very traditional division for the, you know, the underworld to be divided into seven. That was a common Egyptian and Sumerian and Zoroastrian and Hindu and Buddhist, uh, you know, number. And if, if uh, South America did have another guardian other than just the one, then that would um, satisfy that requirement. And, you know, it would be like, largely the same borders that we have now um you know like greenland and northern alaska would be one division um you know canada would be another division the u.s minus florida would be another division um Mexico would be another division, Central America and Northern South America would be another division, basically South America up to the equator. And then from the equator to that peninsula would be another division. And then uh, basically that's like the current southern border of Bolivia, maybe. So anyway, the the southernmost division would be uh, Chile and Argentina. And I think it may also include the nearby parts of part of uh, of Antarctica. And especially some of the Indian uh, Hindu, you know, just like portrayals of these divisions supports that possibility so because yeah here it shows like that half of uh antarctica there which is really close to south america so just as the same way that greenland is included as part of um uh, you know it's in it's in the same division as alaska northern alaska so you know, it's um, would make sense that this part of Antarctica would be included in the lowest division of, or, you know, the southernmost division of uh, America. All right, well, um, and anyway, they, the, uh, after I discovered this, the Egyptian government destroyed it, you know, possibly just to, to stop my work and to stop the truth from getting out. I don't, yeah, I mean, that's all I can think about it. They claim that they believed it was a stain, that the map was a stain, but they clearly destroyed, like, even all the stuff around it. So I don't know what their excuse is. Anyway, um, so... I guess I'll leave it there. I'm impressed that it actually let me go this long. I'm not sure why. Usually my phone just cuts me off. But, uh, you know, I think I might also talk about the fact in if I do a short follow-up book, just talk.